Before continuing with the base store, let me just quickly thank today's sponsor, Raid Shadow Legends. And Raid is the first game to bring a true console level experience to your phone, with hundreds of artifacts to equip and over 600 champions, and actually two of my personal favorite champions that I have been using are Rotos and Anger. Rotos is a legendary champion and is one of the strongest and most desired single target nukers in all of Raid. One of his skills gives him the ability to decrease the max HP of his target by 20%, Anger is another legendary champion that I really like because his unique power comes from his passive ability. Every time a provoked enemy attacks Anger, he has a chance of placing a provoke on them again. And there is a ton happening in Raid this month. They're bringing out 5 badass looking new champions that I can't wait to get my hands on. They're overhauling the champion vault and they have got a lot of awesome smaller updates as well. On top of that, Raid is running a huge series of summer splash events for the whole month, where you can get your hands on some incredible skins for everyone's favorite dwarf, Tranda. Oh, and one more thing. Ultimate Death Knight, coming August 2022. So make sure you get it now if you want to be a part of it. And this is actually the best time to get started in Raid. And if you click my link in the description or scan my QR code here on the screen, you will get unique bonuses worth $30. We are talking a free epic champion verges, 200k silver, 1 energy refill and 1 XP boost and 1 ancient shard so you can summon awesome champions as soon as you get in game. And all of this treasure will be waiting for you here, and it's that easy. Just click the link in the description and I'll see you in the game. Okay, to start the build off, just place two square foundations and one triangle on the side, just like this. Just your typical 2x1. And for the doors, we're gonna be using double doors instead of single doors. And now you can wall everything in. When it comes to TC placement, um, always place it towards your entrance because it will cause less problems when you're building the bunker later. So yeah, just remember, always where the entrance is. 
Yeah. Just put your doors in. And your starter is finished. Okay, in this phase, um, we're gonna be building the bunker and honeycombing the base. So to start, just place these two triangle foundations here. On this side, where the bunker is going to be, um, place half walls, just like this. And here can go a full wall. Here, place a doorway. For the jump up, use a furnace if you don't have a ladder. Now always remember the chute entrance has to be where your um, TC wall is. So the tool cupboard is here and your entrance is here. Yeah, just place a door. And now to seal the bunker, just pick up this furnace and don't forget to place this door here. Place a triangle floor here and a triangle roof here. And just upgrade the roof to stone. Yeah, it's that simple. And to just remove the bunker, just break this twig here. Okay, and now to start honeycombing the base, place squares on the sides, just like this. Upgrade them to stone. And two triangle foundations here. And now wall everything in. And now for the jump up, just place two triangles here and a floor like this. Now, that's basically it. Oh, and one more thing. Um, upgrade these floors here to metal or even high quality metal so you don't get easily raided from the roof. Okay, now at this stage of the base, um, we can start upgrading the core. So for the TC room, if you have the high quality, you can upgrade this whole room to high quality now. And for the rest of the core, just upgrade everything to metal. This doorway too and the bunker as well. Okay, now we can start building the second floor. This is going to be our jump up, so you can place either this floor here or furnaces. And now these two squares are going to be your loot rooms. So to build them, just place a half wall here and a floor on top. And then place ramps here. You always have to place the bottom ramp first before placing the top one, because if you place the top one first, you cannot place the bottom one. And I'm gonna upgrade everything to metal just to save time. But yeah, you can leave them upgraded to stone if you don't have the metal yet. Just like that. And when you place the boxes, place a window in front of them. Just like that. And I'll repeat the same steps on the other side. Now for this triangle here, I usually just hold it off because you can't place anything here. Because when you place the bunker, um, the roof glitches through the wall, and when you break the bunker, it breaks what's placed here too. So I usually just uh, wall this part off, just like that. And for this part, I'm going to be placing here a battery. So for now, you can just place furnaces here, or even a battery if you have it already. 
I'm gonna place furnaces for now. And don't close this with anything. Leave it open like this. Okay, and now we can place the wall frames and roof. Okay, and now in this phase we're gonna honeycomb the base and build external TCs with the wide gaps. So let's start. This is going to be our main entrance, so just build walls like this. Okay, and now I'm gonna metal up some stone parts of the base, but if you don't have the metal yet, you can do it later. You can leave the swollen stone because uh, it doesn't really matter. Now to honeycomb, just place triangles like this. Three triangles on this side and two triangles on this side. Now bring the honeycombing up. Okay, and now to start actually building the external TCs, come to your entrance and place triangles like this. So this triangle should be pointing towards your entrance, and now place two squares, and a triangle and then you can remove this twig. And from this triangle, come back with more triangles, just like this, and you should have this one triangle which is pointing towards our entrance but it's not actually connected so this is going to be your wide gap uh, triangle graded to metal and now to start building the external TC place a foundation triangles like this this is going to be your gatehouse then place two triangles like this two squares and two more triangles. This triangle is going to be your um, external TC, upgrade to metal. Place two half holes here, and they have to be half holes for the disconnectable TC to work. If you don't want a disconnectable external TC, you can place a full wall here. Place your TC here, and close it in the window. Place these two wall frames on this metal triangle and upgrade them to metal as well. These two triangles have to be metal too. And this one can be stone. And yeah, now just connect everything with uh, wall frames. Now let's connect the main TC to the gatehouse. So place two floor frames here and two triangle floors here. Upgrade them to metal. And yeah, now to disconnect this external TC, just place a roof here. And uh, that frame breaks. And now of course if you don't have this much metal that I used here, 
you can upgrade everything to stone and leave it like that. I mean, it's gonna be cheaper to raid, but yeah, it still works the same. And now let's do the same thing on the other side. So come to this triangle, like, like the same on the other side, this one. And do the same thing. Okay, now to build the compound just follow my steps and firstly if you want these turret pods on your gatehouses um, build them like that just place two half holes here and floors on top here can go your turret and on top you can place your barricades and to make placing them easier just build some floors around here like this And now to stop other people from being able to place these floors here, just place some these flasher thingies here and then they prevent people from placing these floors. Uh, and now do the same thing on the other side. And now what's left is just to place holes, so yeah, let's do that real quick. Okay, and when you have your metal smelting, we can start building that third floor and shooting floor. Just wall everything in just like that. These are going to be your bedrooms. This can be your loot room or whatever you want. Um, this is going to be your jump up to the shooting floor. So just place a half hole here. Rotate this wall around and upgrade it to metal. So I have two loot rooms here and two bedrooms. And don't forget to also honeycomb this. And upgrade it to metal too. Okay, when your base is at this stage, we can start building the shooting floor. So start by placing these triangle foundations like this. And remove these. And the same on this side. And now the, f the same thing on the other side. And now on these um, triangle foundations, place wall frames and build them up to the third floor. Now for your entrance, just place a double door here and a shop front here and place roof here. Just like this. 
you have your little like entrance here. And now let's start building the shooting floor. Now we can start placing the windows. And now for these parts you can't place a window here because anyone can enter your base through this gap. So what I do is place a triangle floor frame here, grade it to metal. Place a temporary um, platform to stand on. Well, I have of course messed it, but you can ladder up to here and place these two roofs, triangle roofs here. Like this. Now just place a wall frame here and double door here so no one can enter through this gap and you have some pretty nice angles to defend your base from. Now you do the same thing on that side. Okay now let's wall this in. So place a window here, walls like this. Wall, wall frame, window, and two more walls. Just like this. This triangle right here is going to be your jump up to the roof. This can be your bedroom or loot room, you can choose. Well, you, you can place two beds either side of these windows. Uh, you can fit some beds here too. And this triangle can be whatever. If you want to place a battery here, I recommend upgrading these two walls to metal. Now here place a single doorway. This is going to be your shop. And if you don't want to have a shop on your roof, you can just place a full wall here or a window. Um, I made a little mistake by placing this floor piece here because this is where the roof pickup is going to be and yeah, don't place it here. And I'm gonna show you a little bit later how to build the roof pickup. Now these gaps on your roof and your shooting floor are big enough for a player to fit so get some siren lights and place them here so no one can fit through these gaps just like that same goes here and do that on all of the sides just like that now for roof placement go into your shooting floor Place a normal roof here and a normal roof here. Just like that. Do the same thing here. And on the other two sides. Oh, and I made a mistake, don't place this floor here, it's going to be a roof pickup.
Okay, now all is left is just final touches and the first thing I would do is upgrade this uh, first floor honeycomb from the bag because this is the like cheapest raid path to your TC. So yeah, make sure to upgrade it to metal. And now for the core, just upgrade the whole core to high quality metal. You can leave the bunker walls upgraded to metal. Now in this triangle right here, you can place your battery with two vending machines. So to do so, just pick up these furnaces. Make sure that the battery is placed as close to the window as possible. Because if you place it further back, you won't be able to reach it with the cable. And now, for the vending machines. Push the vending machine as close to the window as possible and go left as far as possible. And now for the other one, place it as far right as possible. Now what else I would upgrade is just upgrade the shoot walls to metal. And if you have a loot room here, upgrade it to metal and rotate it. Just like that. Let's go up and upgrade this shoot to metal as well. And if you have a loot room here too, rotate this wall. Just like this. And yeah, this is basically it. That's your base finished. But yeah, I recommend you to hop on a building server and mess around with this core and maybe change some things a bit. So if the raiders have seen this video, they wouldn't know where your exact loot is. Yeah, <laughs> thank you for watching and till the next time, peace.